Well, hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Redekai Doors. And I was blessed enough just a few days ago that I celebrated 45 years of being married. And I thought that qualified me to maybe give a little advice to people that might be thinking about tying the knot. Some of these things also apply to those that have tied the knot. So maybe these little tips might help you out. Anytime you've got an argument or something, you be sure that you get the last word in. And that is, yes, ma'am. It's always a good idea on both parties to be honest with one another. Man, if your wife, when you see her one day, just looks exceptionally beautiful that day, you be sure and tell her, honey, golly, you look good today. It'll go a long way. And by the same thing, girls, you be honest with your man and you tell him if you have any anything he needs to know. For instance, the other day, my wife said, you know what the difference in you and Superman is? <laughs> I thought, oh boy, this has got to be good. I said, no, baby, what's the difference between me and Superman? She said, well, he has got supervision and you need supervision. <laughs> We had a little wind storm the other day and it blew down some limbs in the yard. She didn't have to tell me to clean up the yard. I got out there and started piling up limbs and tried to make it look nice again. Don't wait for her to have to tell you to do something that needs doing. Now, the girls are pretty good at this. Girls, y'all get a thumbs up on that one. But I tell y'all, I was lucky. My wife, she's a gem. Golly, she takes care of everything. It's amazing what all she can do. But during the midst of all that, she still has time to think about us and our relationship. And she told me the other day that one of the key things was good communication between a couple. So I had been thinking about that, what she said about communication. And I decided that she was right. And so I wanted to tell her that I had thought about it. And I walked in the house the other day and she was at the desk paying bills or something. And I said, honey, you was right about that communication. And she said, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> I have a hard time figuring things out sometimes. Well, that created a whole nother problem. Don't bother right now. So I got to thinking, take advantage of modernization. You can text people these days, <laughs> which brings up a whole nother problem. But it might be getting better because I heard the other day that the guy that invented predictive text passed away may he restaurant in peace you know that predictive text i'm bad at text something and don't proofread it before i hit the send button it makes me text stuff that i don't nintendo but you know these young people they had not made it very easy to text they they don't text words they just text letters and you're supposed to know what that means I have a pretty big problem on figuring out what some of that stuff is. Miss Janice texted me the other day. I had a, I had texted and asked her a question about something. And she texted me back and it said, I-D-K. I didn't know what in the world that meant, but I don't know one thing. I got some grandkids. So I text them to find out what it meant. And I said, what does I-D-K mean? And they texted me back and said, I don't know. And I thought, my goodness, if they don't know, they don't nobody know. But I don't like it when people text all them letters instead of words. So when I text, I try to use the whole words because it can be so confusing. And remember, my wife said one of the keys to a good relationship was communication. So I think you should be clear about your communication. Let me give you an example. The other day, my wife had gone off to work real early. She given a little time for me to get up and get my day started, and she texted me. It said, GM, hope you have a nice day. <laughs> I texted her back, General Motors to you too. Seriously, folks, this is an important one. As much as you love one another and want to spend time together, you need your alone time too. So guys, Grab your fishing pole and go to the water every chance you get and give your ladies some time to their self. That is, unless you like Captain John with small water charters, 
him and Miss Lindy have fished together every day and they make it work. Check them out on YouTube. Folks, I got a lot of foolishness in me, but in all seriousness, if there's one piece of advice that I could give people, it's put God first and everything else will work out. And always remember folks, whether you are work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all.